Every number has just as many multiples as the rest. Let's get on to the counter yeah. shall we? <laughs> That's not true, by the way. MIP versus Big. First map of train coming in here. And they all have infinite. I'm, I'm just going to move past Yeah, yeah, man. I've really blown my own mind in the opening. Sorry, right? We're You're going to need a minute. On the game at hand, Big over on the T side. We're getting into this one, and the crowd is already going wild. Tizian picking up the utility for his squad. Three players down here towards Ivy. Lecro holding on to this position, and he's going to... Oh, just missing the time in there, but it might not matter. Forrest already picking up tabs, and... Over towards main as he tries to carve that path, he gets shut down. And so now, man advantage taken for an IP. They give up Ivy. They concede this side of the map to big. They're going to fall back into the realms of this bomb site and try and hold this one back from inside the bomb train and CT. NIP favored on the Betway odds, and it doesn't surprise me. They were playing fantastic yesterday. Rez on the site. The flash has come out from Pop Dog. It's moved big forward, but Rez does hit the immediate one tap. Zantaras is gone, and Dinked Forest is taking control of Tcon. And IP have good information towards this A site, but Forest getting caught moving out through by Tizzy. And Twist can't nail the shot as the aim punch is a problem, but he follows up and drops the bomb. That's uh, Smear getting aggressive and losing it down the back tracks. Propsky to finish off the round, and it's a team ace for the ninjas in pajamas. Everyone finding a frag in that pistol round. Those early rotates off of B, all the info in the world, and um, big getting very much stuck down Ivy with no kills going their way. That will be the pistol taken by the Swedes. And, so, you know, truthfully, with this group, I think all the teams are so evenly matched yeah. and also have so many, like... Uh, I mean, you know, any team can be any team on the day. Sure. So that's always something you have to take into account. But, you know, I mean, like even on paper, but like looking at this just as raw statistics, these, the, all these teams are pretty close together in terms of what we've been expecting, what we've seen thus far. You look at a team like Big, where, okay, we haven't seen them as, as, at as many events, but in the Pro League, they've always been able to give teams a run for their money, at the very, very least. And uh, I think all four of these teams as well, definitely teams where like they're under question somewhat, right? Like, you know, new NIP squad, somewhat new big squad, north of the new in-game leader, G2 moving to English. There's, a, there's an interesting storyline for, for all four of these teams in this group, and that's what makes it really, really cool. Uh, so we kind of get to see how they level out and who's going to make their way to the finals. Now, in this round, Santares might get a bomb plant, just about does. Propsky not going to be able to move in and finish him off in time. But he does get the kill regardless. Next, just desperately looking for anything here. But Propsky's fallen back after getting tagged. Rez gets killed on the flank by Smuya. And they're on the defuse, and Smuya can't stop it. So he'll just save the SMG, and IP will take that 2 0 lead. But uh, Smuya's going to upgrade this anyway, so it's not going to be a worry. He even has money for the AWP if he wants to ditch the head armor. So early start for NIP is expected, but the Glocks from Big. And uh, and we talk about four spies in the second round. Well, no bomb plant in the pistol for Big, so no Kriegs into round two of train. And and that's something that NIP were big fans of, right? We thought yeah. we think about the pistols yesterday, pretty bad pistols, but uh, second round, fantastic, Harry. And that's the thing. I would argue that, you know, in, in this current version of the meta, in, if you're over on that T side, it, it's almost better to not, yeah. not lose the pistol no. and get the, get the force. But I mean, like... If you win the force, it benefits you more yeah. than winning the pistol yeah. does because it breaks the other team's money. Uh, this is on the T side, obviously. It breaks the other team's money. The CTs have to double eco. And you you typically, if you win the second round as a T, you typically go 3-1 up. That's not what you get off the pistol. Maybe in the old days, but uh, Counter-Strike nowadays, you, you don't get a 3-0 lead every time you win a pistol round. So... Well, let's take a look at this round here, Hugo, because we got something a little bit interesting. NIP, they've got aggressive over here towards Ebox and Main with three players. They threw a deep smoke into Main, trying to feign that they've gone for this aggression. I mean, they had gone for the aggression, but they've since left it. So uh, for Zantares, who's keeping an eye on Main right now, he's uh, he's going to have to re-clear all of this if, if they do decide to commit to this A play, which is what it's looking like Big want to do right now. You know, you've got two players down towards Ivy, two waiting here outside of Main, Tizzy and alone over at Pop Dog, and it's the fact that he's here alone that makes me really feel like this should be the A commitment. He's holding onto that B side of the map, and he can try and challenge for Pop Dog control later on. Now, Big, they've made an adjustment here. They they move away from that double Main position, and they go once again to three players. And Ivy. And this is good because if you're big, you can now go anywhere. You can head towards B and have Tizzy and come down the ramp, or you can go for this A split based on the kind of results, based on the impressions that you're getting. Ooh. They try and get through Ivy and they're going to commit to the A side play, but Twist through this smoke, finding a lot of damage. Will get shut down finally by Smooya. Zantares helping turn the advantage back in favor of Big once again. Oh. 
Smooey uh, doubling down over That's an bomb. Ivy. The bomb's dropped. There's eight seconds and oh no! Oh dear, big! This has all gone so, so wrong, Tizzy, and there's just no time for him. And even then he goes down, Plopski! You little worm running into the bomb site and <laughs> shutting down the bomb planter. And, and with honest, nine seconds left, Plopsky's been such a delight to watch on IP, man. And he's keeping it up. I was wondering, coming into today, you know, were we going to see the same Plopsky as yesterday? Wow. And, well, it feels like it, doesn't it, man? 80 kills in that best of three series versus G2 yesterday. He, he, had, he had like 20 frags more than the next best player after three maps. What an unbelievable performance from this young Swede. And showing up in the first rifle round of train as well makes it even better. Did Smuya just I, double dink Forest and Lekra? I, I, I missed that. I was looking at the minimap, but yeah, okay, weird one. Damage coming in early for Big, but... Uh, Nothing too significant as they walk towards this B site. Propsky is alone here. He's got that smoke, but they can go right past it. They're already down, and he's going to get out with the Kree. Doesn't get a kill. Letgro does, however, couple from the M4 before the trades are in, and Big can get this bomb plant down on that B site. Still a flank coming through. Rez is very quick behind, but Smoothie is holding for it, and he finishes off that frag. Big now with a man up in the post spawn, and the retake is on for NIP. Tara is not quite able to find that, and oh dear, once again, it's quickly been turned on its head. Smuya left alone, he does have this M4, and he shut down Twist. Forest gets spotted inside of the bomb site, smoke down on the bomb, and he's got the Ooh. kit, baits the peak from Smuya, and he will just about hold on to that round for NIP. Now, if you're big, you're not this way by how that one pans out. You get the bomb plant, you get it down to a 1v1 and a 3v2 post plant. Okay, yeah, there was a time where you had a man advantage. And you might be a bit upset about that, but you didn't have armor heading into that one. You only had that one scavenged M4 that Smuya was able to grab. You come into this round now with everything you... Oh. He did, man. That's... Yeah, he dinked like two players, but he didn't... I, I, no, I think he body shot yeah, the first and I, through the body he dinked someone else. That's what it was, yeah. I, I was just confused by the damage. Like, they both got hit for 30. Because also, I heard the dink noise. And yeah, I'm like, I was what confused. did he like, that how with? Because I'm looking, someone I'm with like, bro, you have a deagle. Like, yeah, if you yeah. just dink someone for 30, where did you even hit them? That's, uh, that's a weird one. And the, the interesting part about that is he gets a two shot onto the flanker in that previous round because he had already tagged him earlier on. So it actually does come and help out Smuya later on in the round, although he doesn't want to clutch Tizzy and dive in past the Molotov. Popsky's caught out. How does Popsky get that kill? There is no way he should get away with that frag, Harry, but keeps things in a huge advantage for NIP. And that's such an important kill. That would have been the B site open for big and Tizzy and he was also a huge performer yesterday for Big, especially on that third map of Nuke up against North. Spotted down Ivy was next. The jig is up here for Big. They've had to leave the B site completely, and NIP have put two players in position. Flashes out for Tabson to get next into position, and Rez should be keeping his eyes on this one as well from the bomb train. He will keep that... Locked down, five on two. Where did Big even go from here? That Molly does make noise on both players. Tabson and Forrest getting tagged, and Tabson gonna get caught from the back line. Forrest dropping the bomb. Smooya now alone, one on five with the AWP, and not a lot of time for him to work with either. Missed shot, and that gives away his position. Now his time really is running out, and he should probably just start to get out of this one. Rez is hunting from the top side. Missed shot again from Smooya. 25 seconds, he can't afford to hang, out to, hang around too long because he's getting flanked as well. Nice shot, but still players pushing down Ivy and Twist in the back line as well. Surely there's no way he gets away with his gun. Oh, nah, yeah, Twist is going to find him. And what a man to get that kill as well, because now that's the uh, the AWP upgrade coming in for an IP. They can go ahead and retrieve that. Another round goes the way of the Swedes. Big, they were hoping they could have had some fun out towards the outer site, but uh, a strict no fun allowed policy employed by the Swedes as they cement another one on the board. Big, it's back to the drawing board here now. Tactical pause called on in. They want to try and maul this one over with Toby's. He's done enough, you know, he's cleaned the keyboard already today. <laughs> okay, like he's got all the keys. He, he removed every key, painstaking process. It, it, it's like pulling keys right now for Big. That's, uh, that's how this is feeling because they're running into the wall a little bit. And uh, they're hoping that, you know, speaking with the boss man, with the coach, they, they can try and figure this one out. It, honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if we see them maybe go for a, a B play once again, uh, largely because, you know, we saw them get that bomb down when they only had the Deagles. And in that round there, Tizian tried his hand at the fast ramp progression and almost caught Plopski out inside of the B bomb site. So they spotted that he was over towards this side of the map alone. 
And they also saw that he likes to play down close towards the ramp. Now, NIP, they've kind of prepared for this. They've already got Twist in tow at the A side of the map. And Plopski is ready to peek up into the, uh, up into the halls. Twist is going to spot that first man. Ooh. Oh, yeah, no, that's a bit ballsy. Now they come running down, and they will overwhelm Twist. This is where Plopski's really got to come into his own once again for an IP. Oh, and he does as well, finding Tabsan on the site. He can even get back into B-Halls, but he'll just continue to go aggressive, catching these players, and now falling back to safety in a four-on-two. Still lining up frags, and he's on for the ace right now. Only Smooya left on the site. Plopski's got the info. He's got the Krieg. Forrest steals the kill through the smoke, but that is a round nonetheless, and Plopski and NIP will take that every day of the week. Uh, Twist gets caught there on ramp. He, uh, he actually, he didn't spot the first contact. He fell off of that ledge. He jumps back up and they're already past him. That's how he gets caught. Luckily, Plopski was in heaven to swing wide, get two kills off the back of that and close it with four. The thing that's so scary is that so many teams are letting Plopski build this confidence up. He's running around the site like he's wearing yeah. the invisibility clothes from <laughs> Harry Potter, man. He just slithers in at the very end and picks that one up. Dear, oh dear. And this is a bit of a problem that Big were having yesterday, right? When we saw them play Train versus North, they got a nine-round CT side to start. Things are looking good. Uh, they got a couple of early T side rounds, and then they just went silent. North pulled a seven-round comeback to eventually get to 14 and ended up closing the game 16-14. Big only getting five T side rounds, and and it, they just didn't look comfortable. Obviously, North, we know how good they are at Train, but NIP, this wasn't their pick, and they're 6-0 up. So worrying signs here for Big. We know their T side has had problems. And that nade is even more problematic. Tabson getting put down to 50, smokes into the B bomb site, but Propsky is here, Harry, and I, I, this is not where I want to be going if I'm big. Uh, did Tabson miss that smoke, or is that... There's no way that's intentional. Ah, uh, yes, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a bit of a miss right there. Ah, bit, of a, uh, bit, yeah. of a, bit of a tactical miss, perhaps, <laughs> from Tabson. That is next level, isn't it? I was wondering, like, is it some clever one way for him? No, no. But how do you even <laughs> throw it up there? Like, <laughs> Oh dear, the Kriegs, Harry, the Kriegs! Absolutely tearing through yeah, those. Yeah, it's pretty players. scary. There's two of them right now on this NIP side. Lecro's got the AWP as well. It's already a real arsenal up against the big squad. And, and you know, you think back to their matchup yesterday, obviously, and uh, we saw them in that game versus uh, versus North. And, and it was, it was kind of like a case that they started very, very strong, and it felt like the longer it went on, it kind of started to taper out a little bit for the yeah. big guys. I've always said, especially with someone like Smuya in this squad, I think as well, Zentaris is another name to look at. These are players who like to have a strong start, right? They like to come into a game and feel like they're dominating early. And so I'm getting a bit worried with this 7-0 scoreline. If big can't right their wrong soon, if they can't, you know, change course and get this ship back under control, then uh, they could very well... Go down with the elements here, NIP. I'm already throwing out the bulk of their utility in this round over on the CT side. So they are going to be a little bit hamstrung when this site take comes in. Just a question of where is it going to end up? Rez is holding aggressively here in the pop dog at Tabson. And Tars are trying to throw these smokes in. This is feeling like the A Ooh. fake with a B play. He accidentally walked forward with that. Another miss smoke from Tabson going out. His keyboard really is good. He's not yeah. used to the new keyboard. We, we we was talking about, okay, what's the most important mouse headset? Oh, yeah. No, you that's, know, that's he good... swapped keyboard. He might not be used to these keys. And yeah. then clearly it's making a difference. He's missed two smokes and back-to-back rounds. That is that has got to be something going on there. So, yeah, I mean, doesn't matter how good Toby may be at cleaning keyboards. They had to replace it. And Tabson is not feeling good as a result. That is, is detrimental considering how good he was yesterday. But Popsky keeping up his performances. They run right past him, but he's waiting on top of the grade train for that bomb to come through. Smuya's not out yet, but Zantaras is down. Popsky can't find a second player, but he's dropped on top of the site. And Tabson's gone as well. Smuya with the trade. Next keeps it in a two on two by getting a lurk kill. He came in late from Ivy, and Smuya has to plant. He's got 18 seconds. And with every second that passes, Twist gets closer and closer. A bomb drop. That's the round done. Even if Nex finds this frag, Lecro is too far away to be killed. And Nex is desperately looking for that repeat. He'll get it. But the missed shot, five seconds. Everyone's hiding. And they might even try and kill him after time. Add insult to injury. It's going to be an eighth round for NIP regardless. And that is such an unfortunate one there for Big. I guess the missed smoke from Tabson isn't the end of the world, right? That, that lurk still comes out Ivy for Nex, but... Smoo getting caught on the site, hanging around for a little bit too long. Plopsky going unnoticed for ages on top of that gray train and even getting two kills after he drops off. Impressive stuff. Big with another tactical pause, but I think they're going to need a technical pause, mate. Get a new keyboard. 
I don't know. I don't know if you can just keep throwing keyboards at the problem <laughs> till it feels like it's fixed itself. But maybe that's the solution. Maybe that's what they've got up their sleeve. I doubt it. I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm doubtful. Yeah. Um, but it's, a, it's called a yolk. Yeah, I know. I know. The worst bit of an egg. <laughs> Disagree. It, Disagree. The white is the best bit. No, it just tastes like plastic. Yeah, but the middle bit is all gooey and yeah. yellow. Yeah. And no, mm. no. It tastes really like it's like from a from an animal's anus. And that's the <laughs> bit. I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> The reality can be, uh, yeah, hard to hard to. But the get white bit, with. my word, mate. I mean, that that's come out of a completely different yeah. orifice <laughs> altogether, Harry. <laughs> oh no, Rez. Oh dear. He loves his doubles. He loves his triples, and he's going to find a third as well as they come out through Pop Dog, two dead in a T-Con, and another one for Forrest. He's going to finish off the round. These anti ecos from NIP. That's one thing that have just been perfect this game i mean everything's been perfect this game but Man, they the, really haven't been losing players the, to the thing pistols. i'm loving most about like this new new revitalized nip and actually we even kind of heard a bit about it from that forest uh, video that yeah. we had is he was saying he feels like he's learning stuff from them they're learning stuff from him and the thing that i'm liking the most is nip they, they've really got their fundamentals down like that we, we see them so good with that krieg second round four spy we see them look so good in anti-ecos they're really not falling prey to that a lot and you know this this was always a squad that you think back to the kind of NIP era and it felt like you know they were just so far ahead in terms of aiming and things like that that, that they kind of could be a bit more lackadaisical in, in some regards Where it, whereas now like you know they are just playing some real heads up CS everyone's on the same page everyone knows what they're doing oh and big not able to catch a break in that round there finally another buy right around the corner but 10 and 0 in favor of NIP mate yeah. it feels like this game's been live for eight minutes and we're almost done with the first half I think we are I, and it's scary as well more players are stepping up in the second Rez was three and five two rounds ago he's now 10 and six Harry he is he's just flipped it on its head right we see Popsky and Forrest finding all these kills well now you add another member to the tally and that just makes matters worse for big 10 0 down Orp is back out for Smooya, but it needs to find an opening kill he can't afford to have it coming late down the ramp or being last in at this point. Needs to make a difference. Flash going through. That crow's gone aggressive and he nails a shot. Forrest finding next down Ivy. They didn't expect him to push that smoke. Was supposed to allow these players to cross, but because he got so uh, Forrest got so aggressive, uh, Big weren't expecting him that close. Nice entries from Tabson and Tizian. Regardless, and Tabson falling off the top. Get him a new keyboard, someone. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Tabson, I'm so sorry. Oh dear. He's gone. Oh dear. Yeah. Rush, come on, leave him no, no, alone. No, 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 no. We're, gonna, we're gonna give him his due respect. Tabson, R.I.P. Moment of silence. Pour one out for the homies. Moment of silence. Oh. Oh. It all just keeps going wrong, Harry. Santara's alone. He's not got the bomb. He's getting wrapped from B as well. Those players are going to be in the pop dog even before he finds Twist here down Ivy. That's if he finds Twist, who has an orb at a very long range. Just checking in between this bomb. NIP can just double drop here. They have no fear. Three on one. Don't know where he is, but that's about to be changed with them walking through the pop dog. And he just turns around. Awful timing. Unfortunate stuff. And Forrest with a second kill in the round. 11 and 0 on Big's map pick. And, and he, here's the worst thing is like, you know, if, if you've done like a, um, like, you know, a, an equipment swap because it's something you've done just before the game. And then you go 11 and 0 down. I think it's very easy to start to get in your own head and start yeah. to feel like, well, this is because of this reason, you know, and... Uh, and Tabson, always someone who's normally so vocal, so smiley, really is like the, the center of positivity within this squad. You know, like since he's been IGL in, it's been smiles all around. Yeah. Today, it, it's looking like a, a bit of a, a worried look on the faces of Big. To Justifiably fair, so. I wouldn't want down. them to be smiling at 11-0, Harry. No, yeah, you're smiling yeah. at 11-0 when you're like losing. Masochist, yeah, something's you know? going wrong there, you know. Oh, dear. And yeah, this is like big foul yesterday to North, right? This is not a game they can uh, they can really afford to lose if they want to make it to those finals. But the harsh reality is setting in. Pistols out now for Bigs. Antara is on a lone SMG. Fast A smokes, maybe a change of pace for Big that could be good. No more of these slower defaults. Tapson's already out, but Lecro is watching the sandwich and he will find that first kill. Rez with a re-smoke, Big going back down towards B. It was a bit of a classic yesterday against North. It was one of the only things that was really working on their T side, but NIP just not letting them into the site. Twist with another kill with that grenade, and Smooya 
With the dig, he's being held by two angles. He goes wide to kill Twist, and Forrest is watching him from back on with the Krieg. And I, this this map, I think, more than anything, shows how good that Krieg is. Think when the Org got buffed before the Krieg became mainstream, right? You know, just a little bit before the Krieg became mainstream. The Org was so good on CT Train. I think a Carrigan playing Ivy, holding CT Train, being so effective to fight main, you know, a fight that you would never take with an M4. And now we just got, you know, even, even worse when Kriegs are being given over to CTs. Nex in a clutch, and he's very much stuck here. He's even getting flanked, but it won't matter. Propsky was sneaking in for the knife. Yeah, the yeah, he was going for that, yeah. man. Uh, yeah, this is, and that's the thing, you know, it's very easy to write this as a tragedy for big, but let's try and look at a more positive angle here, and that is the NIP. They are really looking like uh, like a serious squad. Yeah. You know, coming into this second week, obviously they had they had a string of good results in the NIP uh, in the NIP camp. And, and I was wondering you know, if they were going to keep that up, if it was going to be the kind of classic case where we see some glimmers of hope from NIP and then things slow down again. But no, that they've really come into this uh, this second group. They're looking to do damage, and they are making a statement right now versus Big. This round looking Ooh. to be no exception, but Nex and oh! Smoothie are trying to make the difference, but it's deforestation down towards Pop Dog. Three kills with the Krieg, and the round goes the way of NIP. Oh, just when you think that finally Big have got their foot in the door, the door just slams and cuts that foot right off, mate. Like De Deforestation is such a great line. Like, he just mowed down those trees, Harry. He just bulldozed his way through the forest right there. And, oh, dear. Look, Look at, at these this. kills. Jo, 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 they all line up. Oh. Doesn't get much easier than that, does it? 13-0. Harry, we've had 160-0. I know, I'm, I'm jinxing it. I'm saying it. We've had 160-0 in the Pro League so yeah, far. Yeah, I mean, was, yeah, jinxes aren't real. Yeah. Important to remember. Yeah, that was aristocracy. I don't know. I can't remember who beat them off the top of my head. But uh, they, they lost. They got 16 0 on overpass um, in the I first I feel like age. it was Na'Vi. That's what I've got in my head, but I can't. Yeah, yeah. Na'Vi sounds right. Uh, get that up for us, Harry. I'm you know, crunching do, the numbers do, do right the research. now. And Plopsky just pushed up B-Ramp on his own and dropped the bomb and two kills. And at this point, if you're big, like, what do you do? You've lost the bomb 20 seconds into the round. You've got three players stuck behind an Ivy smoke and two CTs holding this position. You've got Lecro with the AWP. Forrest has tucked old hell to swing if he's needed as well, and he will be with big about to make contact. But this round is already, you know, like, I don't want, it's not done, but the chance of you winning this if you're big, especially when you're 13-0 down, are so minuscule. Oh, it was uh, it, it was a team that started with N, it was North. North, yes, they, they it was overpass, yeah. yeah. I remember that game, that was, that was crazy. And I mean, big, they might join the, the Hall of Shame right now if they don't pick things up, but this three on five is turned around very quickly. Again, that bomb is still under control of NIP with 35 seconds, so big can't hang, hang around on the site for too long. Santaris is running and gunning for this kill. Rez is gonna hear the footsteps, oh, and this is a nice little off angle. Won't be expected and it could even be baited in by Propsky. Won't need to be. Rez hits a shot uh -huh. and 25 seconds. They've got to go up the ladder. That's never a fun fight to take. Smooth's got to hit a no scope of the ages. Nade over does connect. I think they've realized they just they can't do it. Yeah, yeah. Th there's no way, right? With They'd rather have the AWP for the final round or the half. And I think, you know, that it's a horrible call to have to make. Like, you don't make this with a smile on your face. No. You know, this is like having to chew your leg off to, to escape debris or something like that, right? Like the true 127 yeah, hours yeah. account. You're, you're not you're not thrilled about it, but it's like you at know, least you're out. The, the choice is that or death, yeah. and you know it's <laughs> sometimes it is just survival of the fittest. They get out of the round with the AWP at the very very least. If they try and get up that ladder into that three pronged crossfire, they just lose everything. There's not a, there's not a world in which they win that. So. Uh, 14 and 0 now for NIP big. They really put a lot of stock in holding these rifles forward. Let's see if that was uh, not all in vain. AWP in the hands of Smuya. Kriegs and AKs for Nexons and Tarez. Tech 9 for Tabson. And this is all they've got to try and deny the flawless half from NIP. Oh, that was so close. Twist almost caught those players moving off the pallet with the Molotov in main. Re smoke to keep Smoothie out of this one, but he may as well go through it and get back on that pallet. Look for the pick on top of green or blue, but no one hanging around here for NIP. Even making it hard for Big to find these opening kills, constantly repositioning with the orb. Twist is now Olaf. This is not what Smoothie will expect, but he spotted a leg. He's got information. He has the advantage, and he's going to hit this shot. Twist is gone. That's a kill for Big. This is the first five on four we've seen in some time. So, what will they do with it? Going back towards Ivy with the orb gone, one of the two. 
this position has been somewhat cleared out, but Lecro is scoped in on it with his own. He's the only person on A right now, if you don't count Rez, who's in the pop dog. Well, Smoke goes down to block off Ivy and Big. They're, they're in this situation where they can either head into CT or they can go towards A. With a player above Pop Dog, the options are open. They boost up Centares to try and catch a kill Ooh. into this A bomb site. And actually, he just goes running through. No boost needed. He'll just take the fight onto Lecro and win it solo. Now, Rez trying desperately to navigate the extremities of this A bomb site. He's going to get shut down by Nex. And it's Plopski and Forrest, two versus five in the retake here. And now get your suggestions in. How does this round end? Do NIP take it flawlessly or do Big get one? Get voting, head on over. And we're back into it. So uh, I hope you cast your vote because it's all about to come down to this. Forest 1v4 to keep the 15 and 0 dream alive. Pushing on in, that bomb's been ticking for a long while now. And with these crossfires so solidified for Big, they will get their first on the board. 14 to one in favor of NIP. Big, so, so far behind. Can they get back into the swing of things? Or is this gonna be a dominant victory for the Swedes? Find out after a quick break. Do not switch off those screens. Shoot it to movie. I'm chasing the bag, not a coochie. I can tell with the fake, now it's Gucci. Word of my nigga from the 021. You count six shots and I come through guns. Some people still think I rap just for fun, but soon they look up to me just like the sun. Yeah, you can come over here. So it's like no career. Swear you got no idea. Soon you have no career. Take a good look in the mirror. They need to know that I'm here. Don't you act like it ain't clear. Yeah, push start. Ay. Ball so hard. Ay. Raise the bar, ay, turn into a star, ay. play my part, yeah, I ain't too far, I do it big, I keep it large, okay, live it up, cause it's fake, better give it up, young, but I feel like I've seen enough, numbers going up, better keep it up, it's going down, better live it up, about too hard, ay, what, about too hard, ay, what, about too hard, ay, ay, about too hard. NIP versus BIG and OMG, it's a 14-1 half. They uh, it's looking so, so dominant in the NIP camp. This is Big's map pick. It's trade. We're getting into things. And uh, yeah, can Big get a couple more rounds? 
I mean, that's a question on everyone's mind, especially Biggs at this point, right? They've got two lifelines, Harry, if you want to call them that, but it seems like, uh, well, the, the plane has already gone down. We're in the water. We're in our life jackets. At this point, it's just about surviving. The sharks are circling. Yeah. The, the, the Swedes, Swimming. their heads are just above the water. You know, they're dun, circling dun, around. They dun, smell dun, 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 the blood that's there. Dun, 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 dun. And now, NIP going in for the final kill set up over here towards this B side of the map. Three players here. Rez holding for made aggression. Lecro holding Ivy. I love this from NIP as well. I love this call. They know that Big are feeling desperate. They got one round. Big might try and make plays. Big might try and get control, push the uh, push the extremities of the map. And NIP are holding every single position. Pop Dog covered, Main covered, Ivy covered, and B covered. Making sure that Big do not have information or map control in this round. And it's such a safe way of starting your pistol. No reason throwing away this lead. May as well just close it in two if you can. And so NIP, after eventually falling back from this early control, are going to group up and go for an outside execute. Are they going to go everyone Ivy or at least a heavy setup right now? That could be a, a bold call to make with Glocks. Boris can come late in through Tcon. He's got a P250. Everyone else on armor Glock, so no utility to get down Ivy. Do remember that. Forrest can't set up an Ivy smoke from this position, and uh, he's got a flashbang at least to get them out. That's unbelievably fast. Lecro and Rez kill Taps and down Ivy. Next, does get a kill with the USP, but only one for one, and that's not enough. Big already down a man. Now the flash coming over for NIP, and more kills as well. Smooya does get a responsive trade, but it's Tizian alone, one on three. Bomb getting planted. He has a kit, but he's going to need to find some unbelievably quick shots. Nip have actually moved Twist up towards this uh, this lane trader now. I mean, for Tizian, I'm, I'm sorry to break it to you, bud, but I, I do not see a world in which you get back into this. He's going to try and creep on up. And with all these players cross-fired in, they know exactly where he is now. There's the swing from Twist that we were waiting for. And it is map point for NIP. About half an hour after this game started, they're not ready even. to take it over the line. Not even half an hour, Harry. Not even half an hour. And I mean, Plopsky, he, you got to talk about him, right? He has just been stellar yesterday and today. He's on 19 kills right now, Harry. There's not even been 19 rounds. And this guy just won't stop. He's got the entire entourage of NIP right around him as well. Forrest sitting 17 and 4. It just, it doesn't get much better than this. Double scout, triple deagle force by here for big. Just doing anything they can. But an NIP not playing any games, not buying up SMGs to, to play with that utility. They're just going to go flat AKs on three players with not a grenade behind it uh, and just try and win these duels. And at this kind of scoreline, when you're feeling it, that's certainly going to be the right call to make. Everyone's looking warmed up and raring to go. Robski holding on to B. He's forced out one of these few bits of utility the big have in their repertoire. Next has actually gone for a rotate as well. So no nades up on the A site right now for big. Only this scout and double deeg. And NIP playing it painstakingly and, slow. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, how annoying is this if you're big? You got 14 1 at the half. Now it's 15 and 1. And you're just wanting NIP to feel confident and give you some of these gunfights. Just so you can get a bit of an arsenal going. You know, you can yeah. maybe try and even get back into the swing of things, but Nip, they're not letting Big have that. They're not giving them what they want. Instead, they're really letting them just kind of mull this one over, have to just soak up this 15-1 scoreline and play this responsively to what NIP they do decide to run. It's going to be this A commitment here from Nip. Smooya's has got to oh. land a choice shot with the Deeg, and instead he'll get mopped up by Twist and Tarez. Well, at least come in with that trade. Tapson trying to do some damage with this scout, but he's quickly shut down. Zantares, another kill before he's found, and it's only next left in the blink of an eye. Time. While he does get Forrest and drops the bomb, there's still time for it to get into the site, but they might just try and find this kill. Next tagged up and now trying to stay alive. There's the peak from Lecro and NIP. They'll take Big's map pick 16 to 1. They lay waste to the big boys on 